Russian troops have recently advanced in Glushkovo district of the Kursk region and the army of Ukraine have advanced in their offensive in this territory of the Russian Federation. Also, Ukrainian soldiers cunningly lured a column of Russians into anti-tank traps they had built themselves and struck at it outside Plekovo. The Institute for the Study of War ISW said this in its report. Analysts exposed Russian propagandists lying that their forces allegedly recaptured some settlements of the Kursk region. It is noted that the Russian armed forces have advanced in the fields southeast of Veseloy, southwest of Glushkovo. The Defense Ministry of the aggressor country claimed that the Ukrainian troops allegedly unsuccessfully attacked the border near Noviput in Glushkovo district and propagandists came up with the idea that the same situation was near Veseloy and Medvezi. Currently, units of the Russian 56th Airborne Regiment are trying to counter the army of Ukraine there. According to an ISW summary, Ukrainian forces have recently advanced on the western edge of their bulge in the Kursk region near Koronevo. Russian sources reported that their forces have also had to repel Ukrainian attacks near Lubimovka, Olgovka, Kremianoi, Kamyshevka and Plekovo. And although Russian troops had advanced southeast of Sudza near Plekovo, they suffered losses there. Forbes' analysis of the geolocation footage showed that a mechanized column of the Russian armed forces, possibly consisting of elements of Russia's 15th Pyatnashka International Volunteer Brigade, got stuck in Russian anti-tank traps set up ahead of the Ukrainian invasion of Kursk region near Plekovo, allowing Ukrainian forces to strike it outside the settlement, the analysts stressed. Russian resources also said their troops had recaptured Obukovka, southeast of Koronevo and advanced 800 meters north of Uspenovka on the border. However, ISW noted that there was no visual evidence of this. Russians do not change their tactics of destroying cities even if they are on their own territory. Guided FAB bombs are falling on Sudza in the Kursk region just like on Ukrainian cities. As admitted by Ukrainians, Russians are bombing their own territory like any other. This is exemplified by the attack using an FAB glide bomb with UMPK modules on a kindergarten in Sudza and numerous private homes. The city, which had a population of about 5,000 people before the Kursk operation, has dwindled to about 200 residents. According to the Ukrainian agency, Ukrainian soldiers are assisting. They are destroying their own. Even though Sudza is located in the rear, Russians are wiping it off the face of the earth. They are dropping guided bombs, shelling with artillery and using kamikaze drones, reported the Ukrainian Armed Forces Ground Forces on Telegram. The Israeli military began what it called a limited, localized operation against Hezbollah targets in southern Lebanon on Tuesday, carrying out targeted ground raids in villages close to the Israeli border. The targets, it said, pose an immediate threat to Israeli communities in northern Israel. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a warning Monday to Iran, which backs Hezbollah and Hamas. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach, Netanyahu said, just days after an airstrike south of Beirut killed the leader of the Lebanese Hezbollah group, which is backed by Tehran. Hezbollah's acting leader, Naim Qasim, promised the group will fight on following the death Friday of its longtime chief Hassan Nasrallah. Israel has also assassinated several of the group's top commanders in recent days. Qasim said the group's fighters are ready and the slain commanders have already been replaced. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since October 8, the day after Hamas sent fighters into Israel and sparked the war in Gaza. It's been almost a year since some 250 people were abducted from Israel, and friends and family are worried about their loved ones as attention turns away from hostages and north toward Lebanon. An apparent Israeli airstrike hit central Beirut early Monday, for the first time in nearly a year of conflict, witnesses said. The strike near the Kola intersection, a major transportation hub, hit a multi-story residential building, according to an Associated Press journalist at the scene. 
Videos from the scene showed ambulances and a crowd gathered under the building, where the strike appeared to have targeted one apartment. In the past week, Israel has frequently targeted Beirut's southern suburbs, where the Lebanese militant group Hezbollah has a strong presence, but had not hit locations near the city center. The area where the strike took place is a primary Sunni district with a busy thoroughfare lined with shops and residential buildings. There was no immediate comment from Israeli officials. Yeah, hala, hala, hai, darabul kol, hala. Shabab, khaliko.